the, this idea of gen, Generation C, which we're going to be talking a lot about tonight, and think, think uh, social digital marketing Jedi, and then <laughs> non-Gen C. Heck, just go back two minutes ago and look at some of the materials that Debbie was showing to you that we were using back when, and frankly, stayed relevant until well, well, well into the, the, the uh, end of the first decade of the millennium. And frankly, there are still people that are holding on to journals and stuff because it, it's near and dear and it goes way beyond sentiment. You get habituated. So we're going to just call that non-Gen C. And then we're, the horizontal line basically can represent your new coming into the business. And as you go out, you've had more years behind the chair and, and or your busier as well as um, you, if you're Summit, it's, it's, a, it's the level system. It's Associate A1, A2, A3, level, you know, uh, what is it? Entry, new, new talent, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, the, the levels, they just keep coming. And when you put the two together, you've got four quadrants. A, which is I'm a Gen C getting started. Uh, to, uh, I'm a Gen C uh, and I've been around and I'm real busy. To I'm I'm uh, Gen A Gen, Gen C A B C is uh, well <laughs> pitiful, uh, but uh, D is a real common. There are a lot of non Gen C hairdressers that are you know one in the chair, two in the bowl, three waiting, anorexic, hooked up to a catheter, and um, they they uh, are still here. And we're going to talk about how to get from any of these quadrants. We think the promised land, we think the future is B, where you're, you're book solid, but you're a Gen C Jedi. Um, just to throw out to everyone too, you can take this model. This doesn't have to just be layered over, right, the salon professional. This could, we could be having this conversation and Michael and I have gone down this road. Um, Gen C salon owner, Gen C salon. Um, Gen C sales consultant, right? Um, and then you could even have, you know, the Gen C consumer. So you can take this model and layer it over everything. But we're going to specifically for the beginning of this conversation, which you and I are like totally geek to have, we're going to be talking about the stylist right now. So I'm going to start that top left quadrant, quadrant A, as we call it. And we really call this individual like someone who consumes content, right? So just like the old model, the quadrant A is the newbie, right? They've got, um, they've got a really good attitude, but they don't have the business yet. So they're not making a lot of money or any money yet. This really is a digital native, right? But they're a beauty new newbie. So this person probably like when they were birthed, they were born with an iPhone in their hand. Like they came out of the womb with a device ready to go, already charged, okay? So they have been online using digital tools, communicating, right, via the internet um, forever. And you're talking and about now, what quadrant are you? Are I'm talking you? about quadrant A. I'm quadrant talking about a. quadrant A, Got okay? It. So, um, you know, they, they're online all the time, right? They're, they're communicating to their friends and you guys know who they are. You walk into a Starbucks, you walk into a restaurant, there's four quad A Gen C sitting at a table. Nobody's talking to each other. They're all like this on their phones. Okay. So they're online all the time, but they just have not created any content to share. So they're just like, they just don't have anything relevant yet to share about their business, their profession. I mean, they're going to find it, they're going to figure it out, but that's where they are the newbie. They're not the newbie in the digital world. Like they got that down. They just don't really have anything to say it. They haven't hooked personal and business up and then set it on fire online yet. Um, something else is that they probably have a massive amount of connections, 
right? So they probably have a massive Facebook, Instagram, Twitter following because that's where they've been their entire life. Like I said, as soon as they make that connection between their business and their personal life, their business will take off because Gen Z's know that that mindset, like that business is their personal life. You've got to intertwine the two. So that would be where I would start with Gen A or Quad A. All right. So before we, we pivot, I want to give my take on, we're talking yep. about, we for those of you that are joining us, we've set this model up because it's a great uh, mind map that shows us, it, you know, kind of naming and claiming where you currently are. And Debbie just gave her uh, take on Quadrant A. My take on Quadrant A is that all I really need to do is um, go into the Summit Salon Academy schools or some of the, 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 uh, the Salon Professional Academy uh, schools and look at the, uh, the starting class, uh, 18, 19, 20. I'm generalizing. Uh, and to your point, um, very, very, very mobile uh, have been have been on Instagram since they were 12, 13. Some of them, when you ask them, how old were you when you got your first mobile, they don't know what you're talking about because they're kind of native. Um, maybe they were uh, uh, painting um, canvas in uh, high school um, and um, they, they got inspired. Maybe they were even doing some bootleg hair on their friends. And when they graduated from high school, some of them were going to cosmetology school during high school and went and got their cos license before their high school diploma. And so they all of a sudden are going, I mean, I've interviewed some of these these kids that have said, no, I'm just my canvas now is hair. And, yes. right, and they're painting hair, but they're mm -hmm. they're, they're putting they're, they're turning that to content posting that content in a lot of different ways. They are Instagram Jedis, they're TikTok Jedis, and uh, the, these are the people that will move from A to B at, you know, like warp speed, warp speed if right. you know how to hire them, attract them, and retain them. So, so much yep. for quadrant A. What's the next quadrant you want to talk about? Um, yeah, let's, let's go to C, okay? Let's go down. We're just going to move down. Um, to quadrant C. So quadrant C is what we're calling the passive consumption of digital content. So we know that quadrant C's, and again, you know, friends that are listening, this is does not have anything to do with age whatsoever. So this is a group of people who um, they're online, but they're passively online, right? Like they they like to see what's going on. They like to read everyone else's posts. Something like they might read a post that engages them, that touches them. And the most you'll get out of them will probably be like a like or a thumbs up or heart, right? They're, they just don't lean in and they rarely engage. They're just not a hundred percent comfortable with communicating in technology and they certainly do not understand how to develop any inventive visual content now when i say inventive visual content i'm referring to this okay they really they haven't made the connection yet i just did this bomb cut in color i'm going to take a picture and i'm going to throw it up on my instagram or my facebook page like i'm going to share it with the world they they haven't made that connection yet because they don't really understand that that's relevant to the rest of the world their audience they prefer more of a manual way to do things. So if you gave them a, a journal, they probably would engage and keep score manually. And that's not a bad thing, but they really don't see the impact yet of being able to learn the art of curating their story and telling their story online. And that's where the meat is, friends being able to curate your story and tell your story online with pictures. All right, so I wanna thank you. I want my spin as I was listening to you on Quadrant C, I, it's, I'm gonna use some summit speak, some summit language. You, you refer to uh, the 
a traditional, yep. you know, we used to call it bottom 80. I just say that it's the 80%. Sometimes we, we, the, uh, uh, hobby, a hobby hairdresser. That I'm, you know, I'm, and I could be 40 something, uh, 50 something, 30 something, even uh, tw- 20 something, but I'm just kind of screwing around. I'm really not, I, I, I'm, I'm conscious of mobile, but I'm not into it for whatever reason. And I'm just going to do some hair. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and uh, so I'm, I'm not only um, uh, on the low end of the productivity continuum. But I'm also uh, a non-Gen C. I'm a traditional. And I'm going to suggest that over time, I don't know that (laughs) you could call that quadrant C an endangered species because they've been there all their life. And, you know, people just kind of figure out what I got to do to kind of, you know, sustain and survive. Not good, not bad, just is. So yep. uh, pivot to what's the other quadrant you want to talk about? Um, let's let's go to D and let's save B for the last. OK, and yeah. I just also want to throw out uh, I'm, I'm sure that we've said it. I just want to reiterate it again. A and C have absolutely nothing to do with age or nothing to do with lack of talent. OK, these people are very talented. However, their work is not being broadcast on the proper channels. Okay, yeah. which leads us directly to quadrant D, because quadrant D would be somebody who has a really nice business. They have a great following, right? And they could even have a good following online. But this is an individual who probably is experienced 20% attrition in their business every year as most people do. I mean, that's just the nature of the beast. We, on average, lose 20% of our clientele every year due to people moving. Unfortunately, people do pass or, you know, my my cousin went to cosmetology school. I got to go to her. Just various reasons, right? But I was always able to fill those vacancies with new referrals. And I got to tell you, as a Quadrant D today, I'm noticing that I'm still losing that 20%, but I ain't gaining any, and I don't know how. And another thing that's really pissing me off is the salon owner keeps hiring these young people, and within nine, 10 months, they're making more than me, and I've been here for 15 years. So th- this is a an individual, Quad D is filled with people who are working super hard, They just haven't been able to, again, connect those dots and be able to keep up online. So that's our quadrant D. Again, nothing wrong with them. Like if you're a quad D, like, great, you've got a great business. But our intention with these calls is to give you the tools to catapult you up to a quad B, what we call BNB. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I love that. The, the quadrant D as in dangerous, um, you know, I, I don't want to be mean and refer to it as dinosaur, but dangerous. I'm Endangered. actually, I've, I've uh, uh, and Barb Horseman is watching tonight. Barb is, I, know, uh, I love Barb. <laughs> is, you know, she, she'd been, she's a boomer and mm-hmm. Barb uh, migrated from quadrant D danger into quadrant B, and we'll talk about B in just a second, um, as in B on B, the land of milk and honey. But um, and uh, Ann Marr from Hair Solutions. I just interviewed Annie a month ago, 63. And to, to your point, Debbie, she, she was watching native quadrant A's coming in and moving to quadrant B, like in their first year or so, catching her in average ticket, average day, average week, and it was starting to get awkward. And she went oh, to yeah. uh, uh, the, uh, Dawn, the owner, and basically said, WTF, how are these people doing it? And her and Dawn had a transparent conversation. It changed her life. And what happened as a result, and this is the big point, she migrated to quadrant mm-hmm. B. Migrate means to move up. And when you go into the B quadrant, Debbie will explain it in a second, you're going to find a, a number of these people in B are natives that migrated from A to B. They're native digital natives, but many of them 
are not natives digitally. They, they, they grew up in a, in a manual uh, world, but they migrated, they pivoted up to B. And that's really, I think, the gospel this evening is, uh, what's it, well, first of all, what is B, the land of milk and honey? What are the implications for pivoting up, migrating, and what are the risks for not? Yep, um, excellent setup. Thank you for that. So quadrant B, quad B, um, is what we refer to consuming and curating content that builds a community. So a lot of C's in there. But that migration is really the ability to curate. When you curate content, you're developing your own content. So again, you're developing your story and you're, you're able to tell your story. That's all my lookbook did. My lookbook told my story, but I had to have a story first to tell. So these quadrant Bs, right, they, they're connected and they found a way to integrate technology into all aspects of their life. Because again, your biz today, your business life and your personal life are interconnected. And they use Facebook, they use Instagram, they use all of these platforms, right? to tell the story and showcase their work. They entice and engage other Gen Cs, right? Influencers that are part of their clientele, their tribe, to go out and tell their story for them. Again, the only difference from what I was doing and what these quad Bs are doing is they're enticing and engaging their consumer to tell their story online, which in, again, is reaching tens of thousands of people. Um, we also know that quad B, here's an interesting point. Michael and I were talking about this today. Quad B also, they're, they invest better and they save better because once again, their financial world is connected online. They, they, they're connected to this every single day, right? I know exactly where my money is. I know exactly how my money's working for me. And I know how hard I'm working for my money. They actively engage. They have click -worthy, what we call click worthy content. And they also use multi screens. So it's not just my mobile device. It's my tablet. It's my laptop. It's my PC. I'm comfortable on all of these agnostic devices. So that is our quad B. It's the end in mind uh, that we want to begin with. I, and one of the things, and you've been saying it, is that it, this is not about how old you are. This is cross-generational. So in other words, you have a lot of uh, boomers and Gen Xers in quadrant D as in dangerous, just like you have a lot of boomers and Gen Xers in quadrant B, as in the promised land. So the idea is that don't think uh, age, think um, that, how, that how, how digital I, am I? And it's not either or. And so we're saying to the degree that you start getting digitally, more digitally savvy, um, then you begin to teach, we begin teaching our clients and we're going to have that conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, the salon owner uh, yep. starts to pivot so that he or she can begin coaching people, so especially in the quadrant D as in D, to uh, help them migrate into this. So there's all kinds of uh, implications going on. All right, wonderful. <laughs>